so we are going to look through the primary Bible reader and the Bible Friends activity book. All right, so I'm mainly just going to do a flip through so that you can see. Um, this is the Old Testament, starting with the creation, and God made light.
And all of these match the lesson that they are going to be learning. Um, for that day. You know what? I'm going to show you guys sideways. Just so that you guys get a closer view. Okay. So it's coloring, tracing, doing dot to dots, draw lines that match um, what God made. This one, I loved this one. My daughter did this one. Well, she did all of them, but you get to draw it and color it in. Oh, I love it. I kept it. I have it in a little, um, like a little art folder for her. I kept all of these. So that's the seven days of creation. I love that. This, they're doing dot to dot and coloring. A little maze. They're learning about Noah's Ark in this one. Um, this is all just coloring by shape. Coloring here, coloring here. A maze and coloring. Just a lot of just, you know, activities, cool little activities for them to do. This makes a little book. Um, this they just have to do uh, what happened first, you know, in order. More coloring and dot to dot. So that's basically what types of things that this book has. It's like a decoding with shapes and letters. Little word search. This is right one, two, three, four to show what happens first and last. Complete the story. I love the colors though. That's one thing about Abeka is their work is so colorful. I just feel like it engages the kids, especially the younger kids, because I'm pretty sure, I know I just did the um, curriculum review for my sixth grade niece, not review, it's like a sneak peek. Um, and her stuff isn't as colorful, obviously, as this stuff, but when they're little, like this is super important, I think, and even for their imagination, just to help them you know, imagine what they're reading or, you know, just to paint those pictures in their heads a little easier. So I love Abeka for that. Now, I am not gonna lie to you guys, depending on how heavy the day was or how long it was, because we had our good days and we had our bad days. And I know all of you guys have either gone through that or will go through that. Um, just know, do not get discouraged. Just remember the reasons why you chose to homeschool. Um, but where I'm getting at is like say this page here, I would have her answer the questions and sometimes we would skip the coloring just because it's she knows how to color, she stays in the lines, she does really well. 
Um, I feel like a lot of this was used at the private school so that like for downtime just because they have a classroom full of kids. Um, but anytime she had like the, the writing or the drawing or doing the decoding and stuff like that, she would do that. I just wouldn't have her do the extra coloring just because our days are already pretty long. So, but that's completely up to you guys. You guys can, that's the great thing about homeschooling is you can kind of figure out what works best for you and your family. But just to let you know, don't beat yourself up if they don't color their pages. This makes a little book and then they write what the picture is about. I thought that this was pretty cool. And they learned about that in their lesson, so it made it easy or doable, I should say. You know what I was thinking? If you guys didn't get through this through the year, you guys could always save these little activity pages for summertime or breaks, you know, Easter break, um, Christmas break, whenever. They could always work on these. I mean, you could buy stuff like this. Well, not this cool. This is like really, really good. But you can buy little Bible activity books from the dollar store that you do on, you know, breaks and stuff too. So that is for Bible. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, the thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. I have all of the second grade curriculum uploaded. I already have um, the sixth grade curriculum uploaded and I will be getting to all of the first grade. I'm not sure when this is gonna be uploaded um, in order, but you can always check on my channel and find all the different subjects if there are specific subjects that you guys want to look into maybe you guys are going with someone else for math but you're looking for science or history or bible um so yeah um so thank you guys again for taking your time out of your day i know everybody is super busy all the time but i just want to say thank you and i appreciate you and be blessed always